AI is here to stay, and I'm going to teach you how to use ChatGPT to make your resume amazing. And I have a bonus tip for you at the end about how to use ChatGPT to prepare for your interviews. Stay tuned. Okay, so first things first. This is not going to be a totally exhaustive guide. I am going to give you some quick hit tips and you can sort of make them your own. It seems like there have been a few, I'd say questionable videos put out about how to make resumes that I really wanna correct because I don't want you to go through and do a resume in chat GPT that is not going to be appropriately formatted or is going to be detectable as AI. What we're gonna use chat GPT for is to identify the key skills and requirements in a job description and to really tailor your resume for that job. The first thing I like to do when I use chat GPT is to literally ask chat GPT what it needs from me to be successful. Here I've asked what prompts and information would you need to understand a job for which I'm applying to help me tailor my resume? Not grammatically great, I'll be honest, but that's the wonderful thing about chat GPT. It is a natural language processor and you do not have to be perfect. Just kind of put what you want to say in there and hit enter. And you can always clarify if you need to, but usually ChatGPT does an excellent job of uh, sorting through all of my mistakes. So here's what it said. To better help tailor your resume, I would need the following prompts and information to understand the job you're applying for. And then it lists them out very simply. So here we want a title, a job description, company information, and you can actually just put the website address in here, which is nice. The industry, the target audience, this is essential for some jobs, but not for others. So use your own judgment for a scientific job, which is what I am demonstrating here. It's maybe not so important, but if you were doing a sales job or something like that, it would be important. And then what are the relevant skills and experience that you possess? And you can actually just paste your resume in for this prompt, which is nice. And then your career goals. And again, in natural, plain language, you can tell ChatGPT what you want to do with your life. We're going to do this with a job and a fake candidate. I've just chosen a candidate from our database. Um, I've blinded their information, so I won't be showing that, but I will be using their information to tailor the resume specifically. Okay, here's what I've done. I found a job with Altos, which is located in San Diego. They are a startup biotech company. So I have indicated that here and I put their website. I'm just starting out by telling ChatGPT what our chat will be about. This is important because throughout the lifetime of your chat, it's going to be remembering what you're talking about and building on that knowledge. So you don't have to worry about rephrasing your entire prompt every single time. It will know from this point on that we're talking about this job at Altos Labs. So it spit back this generic thing about tailoring your resume, emphasizing skills, whatever. We're just going to ignore that for the moment. And I'm going to move on with the next part of the prompt, which is the job title and description. I have now pasted the job title and description. So don't worry about formatting. It kind of all just went in there in a big lump and that's okay. Here is what ChatGPT came back with. It's going to just start internalizing this. And again, I am going to ignore this for the moment. You can absolutely read through this. It's good information. It definitely has picked up on some really interesting things from this job description, including that we should be demonstrating our commitment to diversity and inclusion because Altos Labs stresses that both on their website and within this job description. And it also has picked up on how often Altos Labs mission has come up within the job description and the website. So we would want to emphasize that during an interview process as well. Up at the top here, it's talking about relevant skills, um, research accomplishments, and collaboration skills, because it does, in the job description, talk a lot about how team-oriented they are. Before we go any further, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to analyze the job description and list the skills that are going to be most important for this job. To do that, it's going to go through the job description to make a list of what is most important based on how often it's mentioned. It does a really good job based on how many times things were mentioned in the job description and what the emphasis was on these different things. This is going to be really useful to you later on. So we'll come back to this in a bit. I have now pasted in a resume and I'm going to be careful not to show any identifying information. But this resume is for a postdoc out in LA. 
and they are a molecular biology specialist, expertise in DNA repair, deep sequencing, Python, and a good publication record. So it's analyzed everything and it has determined that my experience is a very nice fit. And we might want to further highlight experience and accomplishments that specifically align with the job requirements. So this is what we're going to do next. And the last step before we start to tailor the resume specifically is to tell ChatGPT about our goals for our career. I have generally stated that my goal is to use my molecular biology experience to develop life-changing therapeutics. All right, fairly generic. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to spit out something at us. We don't need to worry too much about what it's saying here because now we're going to get into the meat of it. This is how we ask it to tailor our resume. Headline statement. Please generate five brief, compelling headline statements for a resume based on all of the information I've provided. And there we go. We have five compelling headlines to choose from. And my favorite thing to do is actually to read through and maybe mix and match these or take inspiration and make it a little bit more my own. The amazing power of ChatGPT is to get us over writer's block and to get ideas flowing. It is a great springboard to help us to come up with better ideas faster. There's things that I like in here, and I might tailor some of these a little bit further, but this is a great starting point for that headline. The next thing I'm going to do is ask it to create that highlight section for me. This one's a really interesting prompt. I'm asking for 10 bullet points to use for a highlight section to showcase my skills and expertise according to the most important skills required for this job. Now, this is key. Make these bullet points measurable and quantifiable and use fake data points if needed. Mm -hmm. This sounds weird, but I want ChatGPT to get my brain thinking about how I would use data within these bullet points. So let's see what it comes back with. Okay, perfect. It is now creating a list of really compelling highlights that we can tailor. It just made up these data points, but... I love this first one, published 15 peer-reviewed articles in the fields of molecular biology, genetics, and functional genomics with an average impact factor of 8.5. This may not be mine, right? It may have been 10 peer-reviewed articles. It may have been seven. It may have been an average impact factor of six. But we can now put our own data into these bullet points to make them ours. It gets our brain thinking, what is a compelling way to state this particular data point. I had to generate 10 so that I can go through and I can pick my favorite ones. It is using those top ranked skills within the job description and it's matching the expertise that I put in through my resume and it's doing its very best guess. So you're going to have to go through and you're going to have to edit these. These are not cut and paste, but this is a great starting point to kickstart your brain into how to think about these bullet points in this highlight section. Next up, I am going to ask ChatGPT to create an experience section with three bullet points per position to showcase my skills and expertise as they relate to the most important skills required for this job. Again, I'm asking these to be measurable and quantifiable and to use fake data points as needed. I'm going to have to redact some stuff here, so I apologize for that, but I do want to protect the identity of this individual whose resume I borrowed. Essentially, it is giving me some example bullet points, and it's making some of this up because it wasn't in the original resume. The original resume, honestly, was not very highly tailored. But it's going to get your brain thinking about how you present yourself according to the skills and requirements for this job. We didn't go through doing the education section and things like that, but really those are much less important when you're tailoring your resume. Your headline, your highlights, and your experience section is going to be key when you're trying to get a recruiter's attention. So take the time to really tailor those sections. And then come back and paste the whole new resume in here and ask ChatGPT very simply, how well did I do? Is this resume tailored for this job? It may give you some further suggestions and you can iterate from there. Finally, I have a bonus tip for you. Use this to prepare for your interviews. We are back up at the top where I asked ChatGPT to go through the job description and list the skills and qualifications that are important to this job. Bookmark this piece because you know you're going to have to speak to these things during your interview process. You will have already spoken to them during the resume tailoring process. And maybe I'll do a whole separate video on that because that's also cool. But you can do a mock interview with ChatGPT and it is pretty fun. There's a lot of leeway with how you use ChatGPT. So I'm going to leave some of that up to you. It's really fun to just go and experiment. And there have been some really good guides. I'm going to link one particularly good guide 
in the show notes below. So if you are curious to go look at that, it's an over an hour tutorial. It's really quite long, but it's very exhaustive. I do think that Patty Jobsman gives some amazing tips. Although I think the formatting that I advise for our US-based jobs might be just a little bit different than what he does. In the next video, I'm gonna go over some resume formatting tips so that you can apply your new GPT skill set and you can create a resume that really catches a recruiter's eye right from the beginning.